Good morning, YouTube. It is 9.59 a.m. Sunday, February 13th, 2022. And uh, that person looks like she's living on this corner. Alrighty then. Uh, so I'm, I, uh, I just want to start okay, get, some, get something to eat, kind of hungry, and some beverages. And am walking back to my storage over at U-Store. Um, I finally got around, uh, so as you saw in the last video, I was heading over there with a box of recycling. And before I started crushing down on the recycling, or after I ended the video, I started, uh, I finally decided, it's like, wow, I actually have enough battery and, and, and data on my phone, and um, I, should, I should really list something other than these stupid empty boxes on offer up and it's been a while since i took all the pictures of that uh vintage um vintage gibson guitar amplifier that i inherited from my friend bill cottrell and, and and it's like you know those those images are done they've already been you know cropped and edited and i just gotta make the listing it shouldn't take too long so i uh I did the listing, and this time, <laughs> and I definitely need to adjust my box listing to be the same way, because I, I got somebody that messaged me on, I think it was Friday, asking if, you know, the listing on the box thing was still good, and, um, and on, uh, um, and of course Friday I was kind of overwhelmed with phone issues. Uh, so I think the message came down probably right after, after I gave the phone to the repair shop. Um, but yeah, it was a good, you know, solid two, two plus hours old when I got my phone back. And, and as I mentioned earlier, my phone, when I got it back was acting super weird and laggy and, uh, I couldn't charge it without it overheating and it was, um, and, uh, and yeah, it was just very problematic, but I, I read her message and I responded and the phone was acting up so bad. I wasn't even hundred percent sure if the response got sent to her. Well, anyway, when I got the phone back yesterday, uh, after I left the second repair shop, uh, it was one of the first things I checked. Uh, well, I shot that video as I was walking down, uh, towards the, uh, Cox store to, pay for my uh, cable internet early and and that video ended I'm not entirely sure like as you saw I got cut off uh, it's kind of showing how the properties had had changed uh, since the addition of the 51 freeway and I didn't even bother to restart the video and I had a bit of a screen freak out by the way I just had a third one of those as I was on my way to my storage on the bus this morning. Um, at this point, they're, they're really infrequent and they seem to go away quick. I'm just kind of crossing my fingers that they'll sort of fix themselves. I mean, it, it's... Granted, it should be covered and, you know, handled by the, the repair shop that put in my screen, but after seeing the things that they did wrong on my phone, and I'm fully blaming my battery completely shitting itself on them as well. Um, yeah, I just really don't want, I really don't want that guy opening my phone again. Just don't. So, um, yeah. Uh, what was I thinking? Oh, so, so when I was coming back from there, uh, oh man, my train of thought is not good at all. Uh, Oh yeah, so that's I, I checked my messages on uh, on offer up, and she did indeed get the message when I sent it to her at about you know, five thirty five forty five, and never responded. And that's something I'm, I'm really not fond of with with offer up. Um, it seems like people always just want an, an instant, immediate response, and you know I don't always have access to my phone. I'm done. All, I'm not always awake. I always have a charge on my phone. When the messages come in so you know i respond to them as soon as i see them uh occasionally they they i don't get pushed through notifications so you know but at least like once a day i'm, I'm just 
checking my inbox on offer up sometimes more and I don't know I mean to me on a you know something that's email ish um, I mean I guess it's more like a text message interface but I mean regardless it's, it's through an through an app but obviously it's not my main app and uh, I would consider a two and a half you know less than less than three hour response time to be pretty good and kind of bugs me that she didn't even reply with uh, with a uh, hey no no thank you I already found some some more boxes because I, I the message I had sent was you know well um, she you know she asked if, if they were if that was still a valid offer because a lot of times people put stuff on offer up and then they get rid of the stuff and they don't bother to take their listing down and that's another issue with offer up so far I've never done that but that listing is getting a little on the old side I haven't modified it or refreshed it so it's you know it shows it's kind of an older listing uh, so she uh, she um, yes yeah, she never replied you know that she already got it because I the message that I sent I managed to eke out through my phone's issues uh, early Friday evening was that that yes it was still a valid thing um, and um, I could meet up with you tomorrow at my storage you know what time would be good and she never responded to it I did shoot her another one uh, yesterday uh, after you know I saw that she didn't reply to me um, just telling her that that um, actually it was later than that it was after I was on my way home from uh, from Bullock's yesterday and a messenger saying that um, I didn't uh, that I wouldn't uh, wouldn't be able to meet her today but uh, you know which I mean she never contacted me about meeting yesterday so whatever but I, I didn't meet her today but would uh, meet her on uh, meet her on uh, Hey, how's it going? going? Uh, Amazon job's going well. Good. Tired though, it's it's work. Oh yeah. Still don't have my damn car. Uh, so, anyway, the what you call it, the, um, yes, she, she didn't reply. I was, I was hoping that maybe I would, you know, that the bus transfers would work out, that I would be able to get, uh, you know, maybe have the potential of getting down here at, you know, 6.30-ish, 6.20-ish, and, you know, say that I could, you know, meet her between, as long as she got, you know, that I could meet her between 6, you know, Six whatever and, and, and seven as long as she got through before seven, they locked the gate at seven. And um but it as it turned out, uh yesterday was definitely a bad transit day and uh dang I'm dropping my stuff out my bag. The slope of this pavement right here is more problematic than I would have ever expected it to be. Um as far as like I set stuff down and it tries to roll away. Uh, anyway, yeah, so she, uh, she, um, yeah, so anyway, I never heard back. I, I, I messaged to let her know that, you know, that I wouldn't be able to get there yesterday, and then, you know, but I can, but I could meet, meet you tomorrow. That's the message I left yesterday. And then when I, when I, uh, when I got here, I went ahead and sent her one more message saying that, hey, I'm, I'm down here now. If you want to meet up? And, and it, I can't believe that I've sent her, at this, so at this point I've sent her three messages, one on Friday, a couple hours after she messaged, maybe two, two, three hours after she messaged, and then one uh, noon-ish on uh, Saturday, and you know, the next day, and then one this morning at around, I want to say 10 a.m., and yeah, pretty disappointed that she hasn't, can't even be bothered to message and say yeah I'm, I'm i'm good i don't need them anymore but anyway back to the back to the guitar amp uh right as i was getting ready to leave 
um, I got a message. I was responding to somebody asking on uh, on our fuck cars in Reddit as to how I, you know, how I was, as I had commented that I got hit by a car just simply walking down the sidewalk, and um, asked how I was, and I was just kind of responding to that. And that's when the message came in about somebody wanting to buy this. Now I listed I listed it for 500. Um, I saw similar amps fully restored selling for about three four thousand dollars on eBay. But I mean, God knows how much work this thing needs, and it's far away from fully restored. And I can't even say say what the problem is with it. Uh, this is it right here, Gibson. Uh, so. Um, so I put it up as is. I put it five hundred dollars, but then I put in, you know, that you know, that just you, you make an offer. And I don't even know if five hundred dollars is a high price or a low price to put it at. It, it seemed pretty darn reasonable. Anyway, first offer that came in as I was getting ready to leave was was uh, offered two fifty for it. So uh, yeah, at this point I need two hundred fifty dollars more than I need an amp that I'm never going to get around to repairing for a guitar I don't own or know how to play in my storage so uh, uh yeah hopefully he's on the way so he should be here right now on that note i should probably stop this recording and check my offer up um because it might not be sending push through messages through it wouldn't be the first time it did that but anyway thanks for coming with me and hopefully on my next video oh i think i see somebody stop there i'll have good news that uh yeah but that person is right there all right gotta end that right now